What is going on YouTube? Welcome to a new video. So as you've probably seen in the title, today we're going to be talking about how much money you actually need to start a dropshipping business on Shopify in the UK. Now it's quite a common question. You've probably seen other YouTubers do videos on it. You've probably seen people ask it in Facebook groups and you've probably seen loads of different answers. So I thought why not do a video where I give you my two cents, my experiences and my opinion on the true costs of how much money you actually need. We're going to be looking at how much money you do need but also when you need that money. As you go through the process, through your journey, you're going to need a different amount of money in week one than you add to week two and week three and so on. So we're going to be looking at that so you guys have a true idea of how much money you need before you get started. That being said then, let's get into the video. So here we are then guys, as you can see I've broken it down week by week. I've put two kind of like separate main columns. A fixed column which is the costs that you can't avoid and then an optional column which is going to be optional extras, things that you don't have to pay for but if you've got that extra bit of money then feel free to go ahead and spend it. So starting with week one then, we've obviously got number one our Facebook ads. Without using Facebook ads or without any sort of advertising, we're not going to drive any traffic and we're not going to make any money. So before, in fact, before we get into more detail, I just want to say this, the first two weeks are quite conservative. This is how much I spent when I first started. And then once we hit week three and week four, it's quite aggressive. I've over-costed things, if you like. This is it's based on uh, if your store takes off and you start doing really well and making a lot of money. I thought it would be better to overcost things than to undercost them. The worst thing to do would be to undercost them, have you guys start your own businesses and get into week three and week four and run out of money. So I thought if I over budget things, then it prepares you guys if you then choose to start and go ahead and start your business. So week one then, um, based on spending £5 a day on Facebook ads, that brings our total cost on ads alone to £35. Uh, basing it on the 30-30-30 rule, which is 30% on ads, 30% on cost of goods, and then 30% profit, that, me, that makes it another £35 on our AliExpress orders or the cost of goods. Apps then, I'll put a link to the video that I did on the must-have apps on day one. Um, they all come with a free period, free trial period, depending on how many orders you get or how many views. So in week one, you won't reach any of those thresholds, so you won't be spending any money on apps. So that brings our total for week one to £70. Uh, looking at the optional column then, uh, you're probably already aware that you can spend extra money on different themes. The average cost of an extra theme is about £100, so I've put it as that. And then logos as well. If you want to go ahead and go across to Fiverr and pay someone to do your logo or a slogan or something like that, the average cost is £15. Hence, the total optional costs of £115 in week one. Like I said at the beginning, they're completely optional. I didn't spend my money on these two things when I first started. They're not necessary. I still haven't spent money on those things. So but they're there in case you choose to use them. Moving on then, week two then guys, as you can see I've doubled the budget for Facebook ads. Assuming week one has gone well, then why would we not spend more money on ads? So I've doubled that to £10 a day, which works out at £70 per week. Uh, as we get more orders, then obviously we've got more products to pay for, our cost of goods is going to rise, so I've put that up to £60. Now, the reason I haven't doubled that from 35 to 70 again to match that 30, 30, 30 rule is just because the more people we've got placing orders, then the greater likelihood we have of our average order value increasing, which means there'll be less like, shipping costs to pay. So it should bring our it should bring that 30, 30, 30 rule more to like 30, 20, 30, uh, which is a good thing because it increases our profit margin. Uh, apps then. Again, we won't be getting enough views at this point or orders um, to go through Oberlo, so we'll still be in the free trial periods, so there'll be no costs there, which will bring our total cost for week two to £130. Moving across to the optional column, I couldn't think of any optional extras you could, you could need at this point, so I've just left that completely blank. Um, if you guys can think of any, then leave a comment below in case I've missed them. Week three then, so week three, this is when I'm assuming things start to take off, it's when things start getting good for me. Um, again, as I said at the beginning, the reason I've 
based it on things going well is because it's better to over budget something than under budget but the last thing you want to do is get get to this point and run out of money not be able to fulfill your order so I thought if I over budget things then when you guys come to prepare and actually start your businesses then you're over prepared rather than under so week three then Facebook ads again I've assumed things are going well so I've doubled the budget again to 140 pounds that works out at about 20 pounds per day uh, exactly 20 pounds per day actually and again our cost of goods has to go up so I'll put that up to 100 pounds it's also in week three if you don't know already when you first sign up to Shopify you get a free 14 day trial there is a link in the description so if you want to use that you will get a free 14 day trial uh, so obviously once we hit week three we've gone past those 14 days and that's when we have to choose a subscription plan I've gone for the basic Shopify subscription plan here which is £29 per month when you first get started that's all you need I wouldn't even consider looking at the additional packages you can go for um, so in total then that brings our week three total spend to £269 just for that one week now that might sound like quite a lot but what we've got to think is we'll start seeing the payouts now from week one and week two. So whilst that's a £269 cost to us, we might have made 150 200 even more, £300 profit, which means that will be covered by the profits made from week one and week two. Looking at the optional extras column then, I've put additional apps of £50 just in case, like me, <coughs> During sort of week two, week three, week four, I started looking for extra apps just to try and increase conversion rates. So in there, I've accounted for things like that. So you might choose at this point to implement, say, MailChimp or a countdown timer like Hurify. So I've just counted that as £50. Week four then, guys. This is assuming everything's going well in weeks one to three. This is where we start to ramp things up. We're doubling again. So our Facebook ad spend now is at £40 per day, which is £208 for the week. As we're getting more orders, there's more products to pay for. So our cost of goods, if we go up proportionately, works out at about £180. And at this point now, we're getting enough visitors, enough views, um, and orders to process that we'll have to start paying for our apps. So I think oh below, it's once you go above 50 orders, you have to um, upgrade to the minimum, which is £30 a month. And then upsell, product upsell by a company called Bold. Um, their minimum plan, is, I believe, is £10 a month. Um, and then you've got the review app, which is free, so you'll never pay for that. So that works out at £40 for that week. I've got a Shopify subscription there, but obviously we've paid for that in the previous weeks. So there's no cost there. And that brings our total for week four to £500. Now, again, £500 is a lot of money, especially if you're just starting a business. But what I've got to be thinking is the profit and the orders or the money we've been getting for the orders in week three is now starting to come through. So it won't be that full £500 coming out of your pocket. That will be supplemented by the money that's coming in from weeks one, two, and three. Um, optional columns then, again, I couldn't think of any optional extras that you'd need at this point, so I've just left that blank. Now, moving on then, so here are the totals. Again, keep this in the back of your mind. This, they're both big numbers and probably a lot higher than you've seen other people mention. Um, a common answer for starting a dropship business is probably 100 to 200 pounds and these are a lot higher but what we've got to be thinking is our business is doing really well at this point so if we're spending nearly 300 pound a week on ads then that's got to be producing if we work against the 30 30 30 rule that's got to be producing about a thousand pound a week in revenue um, so just on fixed costs then we're looking at 970 pounds now again this isn't all coming out of your pocket because that's going to be funded by the payments that Shopify are paying us for the orders uh, as they come through. And then if you want to go, if you've got that extra money to spend and you choose to go for the optional extras, like paying for a professional theme or getting a personal logo designed and getting the additional apps, then you're looking at just over £1,100 for the first month or the first four weeks. Now, that's my take on it. It might not be what you expected. It might sound a lot more than you realized, but 
as I said at the beginning, this is quite an aggressive costing. If anything, I've over budgeted here. The last thing I would want you guys to do is go ahead and start your business and run out of money in weeks three and four. So, and again, it's, it's, it's all variable. If you choose to stick to five pounds a day, then your costing is gonna be more like week one and week two every week, where your first month will only be three, four hundred pound instead of that thousand pound. So that's my take on how much money you need. Let me know your thoughts below. If you agree, let me know below. If you disagree, how much money do you think you need? Uh, make sure you leave a comment below. I'd love to hear your guys' opinions on this. Uh, that's it for this video then, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate the support the channel's been getting lately. If you did find some value here, then please hit that like button. It would be much appreciated. Um, I'm, I'm going to be trying to record more videos more often. Um, I know I've been a bit all over the shop recently, but hopefully this week, um, especially coming into July, my um, uploads will be getting more consistent, hopefully every day. So if you want to see more, then make sure you hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video.